So my name is Heishel Dabin. I'm the co-founder of Kraya. Before the hackathon, we were a team of approximately 10 people. And we were basically working primarily with our clients, um, just doing projects with them. Um, but then again, it was their projects. We were helping them define the projects and implementing it. So it wasn't something we were doing um, for ourselves, basically. So I was studying artificial intelligence at the University of Amsterdam. Um, and then we went to a talk where I first heard of blockchain. So I immediately got interested in, okay, what is this? Um, and coming from a artificial intelligence background, it was quite easy to start picking up and learning and going through the material. And my interest started to pivot from artificial intelligence to more blockchain. Um, due to what it can mean. I know artificial intelligence is also really interesting, but um, I think the combination is uh, where the magic happens. I actually attended the first hackathon as well in 2017, and we actually won the pension track. Um, so that was the first encounter with the hackathon. And, and then this year was actually more exciting for me because we started a company prior to the hackathon. So we, like, I had my own team basically, that we were already doing some projects together. And this time we had to challenge the, the problems as a whole, as a whole team. Prior, even prior to the hackathon, we met Jan Peter at one of the deep dives. And uh, we were talking about this idea we had, which was basically drone as a service. So let's say you wanted to deliver something to a friend's house, or you wanted some food delivered to your house, you just hire a drone to to bring it to you or to bring it to your friend. And he started like challenging us of um, stop thinking about the situation of now of having money involved and starting a startup and start thinking about the common. So take some inspiration from nature and all of this. And we had a really hard time understanding um, what he was saying because it's, how do you start thinking that way? We're thinking about solutions just like we would for our clients. Um, so he was challenging us, but we. We couldn't understand what he was aiming for. Um, and then at the hackathon, we were there again. He was confront confronting us. Guys, break out of the thoughts of now, break out of the thoughts of having a business of, of money and start thinking about implementing a solution for everyone. And again, like it, it took us the whole hackathon to come to realization of what he's aiming for and then how we can use that information to apply it to our solution. Um, so we were going back and forth and back and forth and then we finally realized like what what he's trying to tell us basically. That's when we had the aha moment and like everyone was like, okay, now we get each other and he was super excited, we were super excited, okay, let's start thinking about how do we apply this to, to the solution. So that was nice. Basically breaking through the ceiling was like super wow for us both. And next to that, when we won, it was truly remarkable how many doors it opened for us um, as a company. We were able to sit down at a table with, with the largest companies and organizations to brainstorm about how we can apply our solution um, for the future. Well, first of all, it's a great ecosystem. It's where most of the people in the space are basically centralized. And, um, and it also is the problems that we're facing today would require more hands. Um, and it's a large ecosystem already, so we have enough people that are willing to get anyone on board. Um, but we still need more hands on deck to solve these problems of the future.